Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog channel. Tonight we are cooking up some din din. Macaroni glop is what's on the menu for tonight. This is a very good recipe that my mom has made ever since I was little. It's kind of like hamburger helper, but like the homemade and way better version. And we've always called it macaroni glop because it's gloppy macaroni <laughs> so we're making that today i just had to run to the store though to get velveeta cheese and a couple of other, a couple other things so i'm gonna do a little haul so i got a little thin crust pizza for when i have friends over i got everything from marks it's only in ohio but i love marks it's kind of like a smaller like i guess you you could say like a dinky market but they have great things there and great deals this pizza was only five dollars and then I got waffle Pop-Tarts. Never had these. I have to try. <laughs> they look really cute. I don't know, I love Eggos and anything syrup. So I saw these and then I ended up getting pancakes and syrup, mashed potatoes. We need W sauce. I'd never even try and pronounce it. It's W sauce for tonight's dinner. And Velveeta cheese. I got movie theater butter with this 100 calorie snack size pop secret popcorn. I got this coffee, coffee foam mocha. It's like a whipped cream coffee flavor. Cool, never had that. And then we got some elbows, we need this for tonight. Some mozzarella, Colby Jack. One of these cheese blocks. These are so good with the almonds on it. I love these. Some eggs, mince, and then I love the zero calorie Gatorade. So that's my little haul from the store. And then of course I stopped at the pet store right next door. I love it. I was playing with this one cat in there. She was so cute. Her name was Jolene. I wanted her so bad, but I just, two dogs is already like a lot. So I, I didn't get her, but I played with her and she was so cute. But I got the dog some dog bones. I know my mom used to buy this brand for cookie. I usually just get their treats and everything from BarkBox. But I have this jar that I want to fill up with bones. So that's why I got those. And then I got two bones. I usually like getting the exact same one because they always fight over the same one. So we're gonna let's open these and see which one they both like. I have a feeling they're going to like this one. Just like the texture of it feels like one that they would like but i mean they always fight over the same one no matter what so i don't think i can ever win okay so we have this one that's peanut butter flavored and this one this one's like fancy this one's bacon flavor why is it wrapped up so much Ooh, this one really smells like bacon oh my gosh that smells good Maybe that's why, because it's wrapped up like that, so the smell is like sealed in. This one doesn't smell like anything. Ooh, the bacon one. That's what I would choose if I was a dog. Who wants which one? Take this one, Mochi. Oh, she can smell the, okay, I don't know. You guys, pick out a bone. You like it? Did I do a good job picking out some toys? Ooh, yeah, that's a good one because you can hold it with your hands. Here comes Mr. Steeler. So I have this adorable dog bone canister that I got from Home Goods, and I'm gonna fill this up with the bones. That looks so perfect. And then there's Oreos for me. Those are my treat. Okay, who's ready to cook up in here, up in where? So what you need is some ground beef. Um, I, if I ever have like something that's about to go bad, I will cook it and freeze it. So I have a big frozen thing of meat. We're using that and then I thought I had onion. I, I just went to the store. But then I forgot I made animal style fries twice this past weekend and used all my onion up. I have this leftover bit in the fridge which should be fine. So I tilted the camera down a little bit. So this onion, does onion like go bad really? I'm gonna just remove that middle piece, but the rest looks fine and it's not slimy, so should be good. But I'm just going to chop this up. You know, I think this onion is actually from 
the last vodka pasta video I did on my main channel because I saved that one little bit of onion. See, look, it's coming to great use right now. Okay, that's actually not bad. That's a decent amount of onion, so we good. Next. Get yourself a big pot. These pots are my favorite. I have a link down below in my like link tree with the coupon code for these, but I love these pots. But we're gonna put this on the stove. Start heating it up and I'm going to add, whoa, it's like a little maybe too bright. Let's see here. Is that better? Yes. I'm gonna add just a splash of olive oil in here. And I'm gonna just throw the frozen meat in here, which I think I want like half of this. So, there we go. Put a chunk. Should we use this chunk or the other chunk? We'll use the bigger chunk. It's hard to tell because it's frozen. But we're gonna let that thaw out before we add in the onion. Onion. Defrost our meat. Watch our meat defrost. That's like leftover ground beef from my HelloFresh meals. Sometimes I don't get around to making my HelloFresh meals and I just will brown up the meat. So I have it in case I ever want tacos or this. <laughs> I almost just put the meat in the pantry. Hey, this is the Sheen shirt, sweatshirt. Cozy, right? I like it. It's like middle of summer and this is how I went to the grocery store. Like, why is it so cold? Oh, it's splashing. Next, let's get our Worcestershire sauce open. Like, why is that word so hard to pronounce? Why did they make it like that? Isn't it crazy how like the first person invented every word and then like, like a chair and then you just look at it and you know it's a chair? Like, I... I couldn't think of another name to name it. It looks like a chair, but that's cause like, that's all you ever know. But like who came up with Worcestershire? Is it like a pepper? Like what is it? No, it's like vinegar and a bunch of other things. I don't know where that word came from, but I don't like it. W sauce. Okay, I'm just going to throw the onion in now because the meat is defrosting. <laughs> Someone just added in. About that much. And then this meat is not seasoned, so season with whatever you'd like. So right now it is almost nine o'clock. I'm such a late night eater. I had McDonald's today and that was it. And some nerdy nuts. I taste tested some new flavors and they were the best ones like I've ever had. Seriously. I feel like I always say that, but they were so good. It was Bougie brownie and take me to pieces. That's how it looks. And now we're gonna add in some W sauce. Just kinda splash it on in there. Give it some flavor. Yum, now it smells like a sloppy joe. <laughs> and then I'm gonna also add some salt and pepper. Pepper. And some salt. I'm also just going to do some garlic powder and some white onion, which I do have a code for the Spice House. Down below, love their seasoning. The dogs are fighting over the bones. What did I say? I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> now we're adding in a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. And now we're going to fill up this can with water twice and dump it in there. And then this is what our pasta is going to boil into. So I'm going to fill this up. This is one. I forgot I could use this pot filler. And two. Wow, that was so handy. I forgot. Okay, now turn it on high and then we're also preheating the oven to 350. You guys, look how gorgeous my sunflowers are from my last vlog. Love them. Ugh. 
The yellow just like is so pretty and such a cheerful color. Okay, water is already starting to boil, so we are going to get ready for our elbows, which I believe it's half cups of elbow pasta. Two and a half cups, okay. Two and a half. That's it? I feel like that doesn't seem right. Two cups, no. We're gonna use this one, it seems bigger. They're definitely in the same. It's a measuring cup. Let's get our elbows. You can make it with any pasta. This is just how my mom has always done it. So, I'm actually watching the recipe that I filmed on it. It's been a while since I made it. Back in 2021. So. Okay, there's two cups right there. And two and a half cups of. So one cup going in. And then a half more. But yeah, you could probably do shells, the spirals, like literally anything. But it is like a macaroni, so that's why we do the elbows. But shells would be good too. Shells would be really good. I love shell mac and cheese. Okay, and now we're gonna cover it. Turn the heat down just a little bit, like medium-ish. And we let that cook. Hey Hershey, is that bone good? She's like, don't you dare take it. She likes the bacon one. Ooh, is that good? Okay, now we know, we'll get that one next time. Mochi, do you not like yours? Oh, hi. Hi guys. Okay guys, we are gonna get ready for the next step. So get yourself a big pan, and then we're also going to start to cut up the block of Velveeta. Is this like one big block? Holy sh Oh my god. Well, okay. If your store has it, there's one pack that's like small little blocks, but my store only had this. So we got a lot of cheese here, which I wonder once I refrigerate it, how long it'll last. Oh yeah, look how delicious. <laughs> Yummy yum. Okay, so now we are going to cut it into little squares. So like that, and then again. Yum, this looks so good. Some people might think this looks nasty. I think it looks delicious. I love cheese. There's like a good, the dogs are fighting over a bone. Hey, come on, I got you guys too. Um, there's this good dip that's with Velveeta cheese and Rotel. I think that's it, I think it's like just those things. So I guess, I guess I could use the other side of the block for like that. I feel like that might be good. We'll do one more. And then the recipe never called for shredded cheese, but I think I might add like a little top of shredded cheese as well. I guess I'll just put this massive block in the fridge. <laughs> if anyone has any good suggestions on what I should make with this leftover, let me know. Okay guys, it is ready to go in the pan. The pasta is all cooked. I'll show you what it looks like. So dump it on in there like that. And then we are going to take our Velveeta and just find, oh, I guess I could cut these in half again. One second, I'm gonna cut them in half not as deep as what I thought it was gonna be. And just put these blocks literally everywhere. As much as you want. I think the more cheese the better, but not everyone likes it like that. So I'm probably doing way more than what my mom would always do. And it does make a lot. This makes a big serving. You could probably cut it in half. I just am not that good at math, so I like to split a recipe in half kind of confuses me. So you guys know I was gonna add shredded cheese on top too, but I added a lot of Elvita cheese, so I'm actually just gonna leave it like that. And now we are going to put it in the oven. And if you have foil, cover it, and then put little holes in the foil. I don't have any, we could use a pan. 
Maybe we'll do that. My eyes have been so itchy and I've been wondering why. And I just realized I was playing with a cat at the pet store. I really think I am like allergic slightly. Like it makes my eyes really itchy because that makes sense. Yeah, that's probably why. Hey Google, set a timer for 15 minutes. So since I don't have foil, I'm just going to cover it with this pan. I feel like that would kind of do like the same effect. So it gets the cheese all melty and it like steams the top. So we are gonna have that sit in the oven. And then I'm also gonna throw a piece of garlic bread in the oven at like five more minutes left on the timer. Cause I love having this dinner with Texas toast. It's also very good with like green beans and yeah, whatever you'd really like. Okay, FYI for anyone that has leftover Velveeta cheese. You're supposed to saran wrap it and then you could store it in the fridge for up to eight weeks. <sighs> Long time, but hey, <laughs> okay. Okay, timer just went off for 15 minutes. Let's check and see how this is looking. Okay, look at that. That looks good. Yes. Look how good that looks. Now it's so cheesy. Oh wow. Mm -mm -mm. I got it bowled up. Look at that masterpiece. Oh my goodness. So good. So you can add as much meat as you want. If you want to add more, you can add more onions, however you'd like. But it's so good, so cheesy. Really easy to make. Like you probably have everything besides maybe the Velveeta cheese. But next time I'm gonna buy an extra block just to like keep in my pantry in case I ever decide to make this. But yeah, so easy. Mm. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this cooking with me. So yummy. Send me a picture of it if you make it. Make sure to tag me on your story. But I'm going to relax, watch some YouTube and eat. But thank you all so much for watching today's video. I will see you all in the next. Leave a comment down below what you want to see me cook in the next. Bye, guys.